education is always about giving back. It's always about giving something. It's not about receiving. Five ways to become the leading company in your area. Jennifer is a huge educator. She's kind of over our education department at HSRA. She's an amazing communicator, educator. And so this is very important. You have to know how to educate, but not preach. First of all, knowing your audience and what they need, uh, what, what pieces of education that you should be bringing to them. And then you're telling them what, you know, that you believe could be beneficial to them but you listen more than you speak, right? Um, it's really difficult for us to educate people if we're not listening to them and we don't really know what they feel that they need or we could be telling them something and it's not resonating with them because that's not where they are. That's not where they're struggling. Education is always about giving back. It's always about giving something. It's not about receiving. So when you're in education mode, you're not trying to close the deal. You're not trying to push for a sale. You're genuinely trying to add value to the life of or to the business of the person that you're trying to help. So education is about service and it's about listening. Practical steps on how to educate without being preachy. And so our first one was get loud. That means have a presence, be out there, Take the photos, do the videos, let people know what you do. People have to constantly um, hear about your business and visually see your business, okay? So you need to know like, okay, the market is, it's shifting. This is what you're telling your realtors, why the market's shifting. So do your research, do a video about why the, the market is shifting and how's that going to affect the sale of your home. And so talking about that, talking about solving a problem, not just saying, hey, this is what I do. You need to use me. There's definitely specific times when your statistics come in, right? You talk, you sell for a higher dollar amount and faster. And if you stage your home, but let's really get in the meat and potatoes on why they need to use your services, what you do for them. Is it concierge service? Is it being able to give them, you know, design boards or whatever it is that you can solve their problem? If you know something's about to happen in a neighborhood, just being the expert on the area that you serve when it comes to new restaurants, events going on, just getting on part of that being loud and educating everyone so that you are the source of being the expert in your city. Everyone knows go to Sally's staging because she's always on social media and she is giving us the updates left and right. It was a no brainer.